Masters. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Hi everyone, Bowser Chapman here, and uh, this is going to be a fascinating session when we look at the closing price at the end of the day. Why? Because when you're looking at, uh, how, how can we put it, it's an aberrational thing. In other words, what happened with NVIDIA, if you've got one product that is just dominating a market look here's nvidia has a spiral to the upside all-time high uh, it was more intra intra evening uh 50266 is the, is the price now but it was trading up in the five it didn't break our start short uh, we, we are still short the smhs i thought we'd be stopped out it was it was within pennies but we didn't get stopped out uh, from our uh, the smhs right here look at this mm. 161.17 on the July 31st was the all-time high. We were fortunate enough to short before the opening two days later um, on the on the second. And we also had three times short positions, a whole bunch of things. It just worked out really well. It took really nice profits in all these different positions. But we took something off the SMHs, but we kept the core position. And I said, look, let's just see what happens. And so far, the day is young. Anything can happen. Uh, it held. The stop held. But when you've got, look here, this is NVIDIA, right? Superb, superb, superb action. Uh, e e NVDA, look at that. Superb action. It is the leader in the field. <clears throat> There's no question about it. I mean, now there isn't even a room for an eye eyelash worth of negativity because everything is set for perfection. That's fine. They've got they, they're really the dominant force there. But look, advanced micro devices has a big spike up. It that was a lousy chart from the peak F and the uh, Chapway methodology back on the uh, back in uh, twenty early this year, back in June, uh, and then it goes at one thirty two point eighty three peak F in the daily chart, and it makes a dreaded H, and it takes it out. Look at um, Marvell comes out with earnings today. Look at this chart. This is an outstanding company. Um, it makes a high of 93.85 back in December 2021. Plummets down to the, the mid-30s, has a beautiful spike up to the 66 area, and then fails. Uh, it actually had it in June. Beginning of June, it pops up to 60. Was that 7, 67? Let me just check this out. I think it was around about 67. Uh, 67. 99. Ah, I remember now looking at it and say, ah, you missed a round number by a penny. 67.99, right? And it comes down, makes the dreaded H pattern quite successful because it went under it but closed above. The lowercase H goes to a lowercase M. Talking about all these different patterns last night. And then what happens? It fails at a double top. 67 was the, the previous high. This high is at 66.81. We've seen these double tops, and then it plunges and takes out the left side low, and then it has a big strong bounce today based on Nvidia, <clears throat> and now it's down a dollar twenty-one. I mean, I can just go on and on and on. Intel <clears throat> holding much better than the others. They've got a different kind of product lineup for the first time. Thirty-three sixty-four down thirty-five, but way off the most recent high in the thirty-sevens. It went to thirty-two. Now it's at thirty-three. I mean, I could just MU. Oh, and don't forget. All the notation you see, uh, every single letter that you ever see is me typing it in for thousands of charts, right? I just do that. It's just real simple. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. We're always looking for at least a peak D in a buy mode. It can go to E, F, and G. It goes to E, gaps up, uh, at MU, and the high in the 74 area just from uh, a couple of months ago. Now it's down at 64 uh, 94. So whatever they say this afternoon, it's going to be really important. Why? Because if in the next... We if it takes out this low, if it 
takes out. The general can't lead without the troops. And now we've got this rotation where the troops say, oh, we're going to catch up to, to the general. Then the general says, okay, guy, I, I'm leading. You can take a rest. Then they say, oh, we're going to leave and you can take a rest. <laughs> and that's the way it is. Oh, and look at this beautiful Chapman Wave falling axe formation right here in what chart am I looking at? Right. MU, Micron. Look at this. Like that. Okay. That's the Chapman Wave falling axe formation. Um, I went through some of these last night in quite detail. So last night for my webinar, it was an educational webinar in the sense that I did get to some of the sectors like I wanted, not as many as I wished, but I did very thoroughly all these different patterns. There are all so many other things in the Chapman Wave methodology that I do over the weekend uh, uh, overview that I do for subscribers every weekend, maybe 45 minutes or an hour or more. Uh, I do an overview what we're looking at and why we're looking at it. Now, within that context, let me just show you something very interesting. I'm going to go through all the different indexes. So gold is down just a little bit down to it is, it's a really nice turnaround. And what I've been talking about for about a year, maybe a year and a half, I've been saying, think of all these, uh, think of the patterns that I always look at, including Bonds, I call Bondi. Crude oil, I call Crudy. Dollar, I call Dolly. Gold, I call Goldie. And Vix, I call Vixie. So Bondi, Crudy, Dolly, um, Goldie, and Vixie, they don't have the same relationships as they used to used to have. Um, you know, bonds have gone dramatically lower, and yields have gone dramatically higher. Technically, it should be helping the bank stocks, but they're involved in other things. They're not doing well at all. So each one of these, even within sectors, you've got this bifurcation. You've got this separation of what was normal. You'd expect gold to go up and dollar to go down. Well, look at this. The dollar is doing very nicely. It's not great. It's gone from the 99s to 103. I should mention we are long um, for, since 2018. We're taking little bits off the UUP, which is the position that we have. Um, but the dollar is actually holding well. And yet gold is not breaking down. Gold, if the dollar's done this, going from 99 to 103, it's called 104. Um, normally, that kind of a move in a currency would set off the alternative to the mirror image. And you'd see gold. Well, if you look at the chart, yeah, it does look pretty sharp. But actually, gold is holding pretty darn well. And if you look at the weekly chart, monthly chart, I drew this in a long time ago, about a year ago. I said, let's just consider that this whole midpoint right here between about uh, 1890 and 2020, that's kind of the majority of the price movement in gold has been there for a very long time, going back to 2020, in fact, the summer of 2020. So when you think about that, it's actually doing quite nice. But wait a minute. Gold is one thing. Silver, on the other hand, look at that. It's a much better chart formation. I'll be back in a moment. Dow's up 49. S&P's up 3. Basil Chapman, Tiger Technician's Hour. Like that. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. 
The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I just realized I had the chart up all the time. I was going to discuss it in great detail, and then I just got carried away looking at all those semiconductor stocks. This is the 10-minute 10 10-minute um, 10 E-mini. And when it did this peak D right here, Remember, the fourth highest peak is peak D in the Chapman Wave methodology, and that's where you, anything can happen. It can continue. It could turn around. That's where it often turns around there. It did turn around, turn around again. I drew this in, and I chose, as I said last night when I was in my webinar, I said there are certain patterns that are just, they look perfect for a plumb line, number of bars on the left to the number of bars on the right, and there are other times where you've got to, you've got to use other techniques, and there's a particular technique that I've discussed, and I said, and I drew, I drew this in right here, and then there's a Chapman Wave inside wedge. It's pink on the dash, pink on the downside, dash green on the upside. It's a, on the upside, it's called the Chapman Wave inside wedge target repellent line, and the downside is called the inside wedge target support line. And what we're lo looking at here is that I drew this in, chose a midpoint, I chose two points, I chose this as the base right here, this candle of uh, 4.30 yesterday, uh, which had a low of 44.46 and a high of 44.69. And then I went to the one th four bars before that was at exactly four o'clock at 4.42.50 as a low. And I drew in and I said, well, I was talking to myself, uh, actually, I like to do that because when I talk to myself, I'm much better behaved than when I just arbitrarily look at the chart and say, bing, I got it again. When I talk it out as if I'm teaching someone, I do so much better. I have the time. It's like um, I have a, a tennis colleague, and I keep saying to him, he just, he's always ahead of the, he's always just too quick. He's a really good player, but when he's off, he is so off, it can drive you bonkers. And when he serves, it can he can miss you have three double faults in a row. Otherwise, you could ace. So I always say, just count to one. Before you're about to hit, count to one. It goes afterwards. He gives you this whole litany. I should a follow-through shot. And then, and then, and then, he's got the whole spiel. And he shakes his shoulders and he throws his racket and all that. Um, so I always say to him, just count to one before you hit it. In other words, just give your mind a little bit of a break from the excitement of the shot. I try to do that myself as well. And, and so I'm thinking, and I'm talking out loud, I've got this and I've got this. So I draw in, and there's this 
perfect second arch right there, another arch within the bigger arch. And what a beautiful one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight bars to the upside, one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight bars to the downside, and then it comes and goes sideways. It's now pink. Pink means you're in a cell mode. Pink, and what does it do? I drew this in with the wedge, I gave it a target and everything. And where did it go to? I should have put an X in there instead of put a, a leg E to the downside. Um, what's the low? 44, 44.50. What was the low that we were looking for? The first one was 44.75. And this low of 4 o'clock was 44, 42.50. So it has, it, the, this is the time period. The first one went almost within a, a point, and the second one went also within a point. So um, this is what I just wanted to do this now because I said to subscri subscribers who were in the webinar, I said, I'll do a lot of this live over the coming uh, days just to, to kind of demonstrate in real time because I do this in the uh, before the, it was before my show started. It was before 10 o'clock. So that was it. So that's kind of how I like to look at it. Um, I wish I looked at it as clearly all the time because sometimes I just get a little excited about it. Um, but that was talking it through and looking exactly where there could be some kind of selling. All right, with that said, here we go for the uh, the rest of the um, overview. Um, so we've got silver doing really nicely here. And that says to me, at this particular point, silver is going to lead gold, but then gold should play catch up. But I need until Monday to really see if gold, if this is a much a much stronger liftoff in gold than what has happened so often. And let's just go back to the gold chart here. Just look at this. Um, now, if you're looking at on balance volume, that gave a very nice turnaround. I think it was the day before the low. No, it was exactly on the day. I like that. It also gave the exact top right there. Uh, no, that was the one that was a day before. So it's acting as a uh, a little bit of a GPS. But the MACD is only now get, turning positive. No, it hasn't yet turned positive. No, it's just barely positive. Stochastic is still only 24%. And the nine period is still, that's got a tremendous way to go, to go positive. So that's a little different. If I go back to the SI, this is the daily chart on the left you'll see that that right as we're speaking, L means that long, means that the 914 has gone positive. Days young could change. You've got to wait. It's a daily chart. I have to wait until the end of the day. But so far, Magni is very strong, and the um, Stochastic's at 67. It's rallying, but it's not great. And the on-balance volume is rallying, but not great. And what is great is that it's moved nicely in proportion away from the 200 period, moving out from the downside to the upside. That's good. So I do like silver a lot. Um, now, what we want to look at is high-grade copper, just to do these metals. Had a nice bounce. It's stalling a little bit here at 3.78. It's still in the lower range of the, the, the trading range. That share says, I like to put it together with wood, the iShares, Global, Timber and Forestry, EDF, Peak, F-Top, Doji, Candle, back in the uh, beginning of August in the 76s, and now it's at 72. Not a big deal, but it is stalling from a peak D in the... Um, now, I, this is a pattern. This is the upside down. It's called the inverted Chapman Wave Falling Axe Formation. And that just says to me, hmm, we've seen this before. And this pattern says very often you come back and you retest the rising trend line. You can even take it out in an H pattern. But once you got to a D, you've already used up a lot of the upside energy, but you're kind of raising the, the base of support. So I don't have a down arrow just yet in this peak D. So this is says, together with high-grade copper, there's a stalling pattern in the general economy around the world. That's what it's saying to me anyway. Uh, now let's go to uh, crude oil. Crude oil right now, my, my, my wonderful engineer and my, my producer is uh, always makes a little joke and says crude oil. Crude oil. Uh, anyway, crude oil is down 15 cents at 78.73. It did turn negative. That means on a daily basis, it's in a sell signal, almost ready to upgrade to a sell mode, but that 200 period moving average is still at 77.18. The continuous contract is still quite a bit above it. 
about a, a, a two points a, a, a point above it. So that's what I'm looking at as a peak C in the weekly chart. So I'm watching crude oil very closely. Together with that, I need to put this with um, the TLT because of patterns. The TLT now had a really strong takeoff yesterday or two days ago from the little doji candle low of 92.23. 92.23 says in the H to M pattern in the weekly chart, 91.85 October of 20, uh, October the week of the 28th of October, um, 2023, 2022, can't go to 2023 just yet, but we're not quite there yet. So it's almost a year ago. And here we are at 92.23. So that says to me, there could be a rally in the bonds, but you've got to be a little bit careful here because the monthly chart technicals are still pretty weak. And it's also that H pattern. I'll be back. Dow's up 37, S&P's negative 4. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kickstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more, and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. Do so you remember the chart pattern I was talking about just a moment ago? Here we are. It's one bar late in this measured move, and it broke the left side low of 44.4250. And look, look where it is right now. And look at the on-balance volume. It says it's really close to trying and attempt at least a bit of a rally to get back above that arch formation. Um, yeah. So uh, interesting. I was thinking the other day, um, 
I do this all, all the time, the, you know, the, the notations, and I either put on a trade or at least I'm, if I'm not able to I, because I'm busy with other things at the same time because you really want to be focusing, um, I'm always notating, right? It's just when I'm here, I'm, 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 I'm notating. And I thought, well, uh, how, how do you actually help people in, when you're explaining? Now, some of these techniques... You do have to do work. In this particular instance, this is real simple. You don't have to do any work. I could have just put a big X there and said, okay, let's wait. If it hits, it hits. If it doesn't hit, I'm wrong. But at the same time, um, I, it reminded me uh, decades ago when I was once uh, I was a professional musician, when I was conducting an, or an orchestra where it, I believe, I think, I'm almost sure it was, it was a Beethoven piano concerto, I think it was the emperor. You know, I, I remember stopping. I stopped everyone. And I said, no, 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 no. This is where Beethoven's at, at four o'clock in the afternoon. He used to love to go out and walk in the forest and the sun would come shining through the leaves. And it's just, it's got a completely different feel. It's got, it just, and then as I'm saying it, someone in the back shouts, do I play louder or softer? And I'll never forget that. I thought that was just priceless. I thought, God, that is that is perfect. And I said, softer. Um, and I think in the general market, many times, what we what we like to think of um, is that. The majority of people, when they are learning a subject, there's only a real small percentage that really get it. I mean, just really get it. And then there are those that are kind of in there, they kind of get the gist, etc., but they don't really get it. And then there's something whoosh, just goes right by them. And in the market, I can see with all the, all the, I mean, all, I get all the time, even though I've tried to cut it out, I get. All the time, I mean, have you taken your money out the bank yet? Well, you know, what Biden's doing at the eminent You know, I think a lot of the time people just say, I'm getting a newsletter. I want to know, do I buy or do I sell? I remember this. I think it was must have been a brass player that said it. They'd have the chutzpah in the orchestra say, do I buy or do I sell? And that was perfect. And I'm just saying to myself, and yeah, you can have these courses, but it, a lot of the time you want to make it as simple as possible because I know for myself, I to, to motivate me to actually do something different to what I normally do, as you get older, it gets even harder, I, especially let's say if it's technology-based. So do I sell or do I buy? So let me go back to what I was doing. And one of the reasons is I thought I, I just mentioned that in the context of the market. So the question has come in, uh, Basil, how come you're still short? Um, so, well, I don't know if they were talking about height or white. I mean, yeah, I'm kind of mediocre height, um, getting a little shorter, I guess, as you get older. But um, no. Look at this for the Dow. The reason why I believe quite strongly that we haven't made the low. We, we can make a little a, a low, not the low and not JLo. But what we're really looking at is that this nine period moving average, to make it as simple as possible, is saying that it's widening. The, the distance between the nine and the 14 is widening still. It hasn't started to narrow. So that means the price hasn't affected the movement of this key nine period moving average. The MACD histogram is improving just a little bit, but it's still very negative. This is the Dow daily chart on the left. The weekly chart, I don't want to talk about right now because everything here is still relatively good, right? So we wait until Friday. The Friday close is going to be really important for the weekly chart. But the daily, the stochastic is at 11%. You remember when you're over, over 80%, that's positive. When you're over 90%, that's great. If you're long and it's over 90% in the stochastic and flat and holding, fabulous. When it is neg when it is twenty percent, that's negative. When it's ten percent, it's very negative. 
remember the, the, all the books. I mean, you find me any, just let's Google it right now. Let's just go to right now. We'll Google it. And we'll say stochastic. Uh, stochastic is question mark. And there it is. A random probability distribution pattern. What is meaning? What is a stochastic city? What is a stochastic in science? What is this? Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Um, yeah, we go. Stochastic. Uh, etymology, all that. Okay. Let's look where it gets to the 20% and 80% if I can find it. Probably this is the one that doesn't have it. Physics. Oh, my God. The biology, creativity, computer science, finance. What did I ask? I'm just, I'm just with the stochastic. Remember, it goes over my head. I'm, then, I'm, I'm right there, and they go over the area. Yeah, okay. Stochastic definition of meaning, Merriam Webster. So it says here, let me see if I can find it. Greek, stochastic, skillful. I'm not going to find it. Anyway, most of the definitions say over 80% is overbought and under 20% is oversold. And I say no. Overbought means that it's kind of over, that it needs to come back under. There's an implication there. I say over 80% is fantastic. That's what you want. If it only goes there for a very brief moment, you don't want that. That's where that's when it fails. And under 20% is not good. That's what you want to see if you if you're short. Okay. So in this in the Dow chart, the reason why we were able to short using particular techniques, Chapman Wave techniques, we short right at the top at August the first at 35,679. But look at this chart of the monthly. We are still long. From October of last year, the day of the low, and the day of the low, 320 on the 20th, uh, uh, on the, I think it actually was, it was the 20th, uh, back in 2020 at 18,213 that day, we were wrong. So we still have, uh, in the diamonds, we still have those positions. So this is kind of a counter trend. Why is it a counter trend? Because the weekly and the monthly are still looking very good. But look at that pink nine period moving average. It's saying, wow, it, it couldn't even break and close above it. You touched it for the first time in seven or eight trading days, and you can't hold it. Look at the SMHs where they are right now. The SMHs is at 152. Um, we're short from 159.07. 161.17 was the all-time high. We're short within two points of the high. So we, I, I didn't have the guts today. I really wanted to do it. I wanted to get back into the SOXS, which we've done so successfully and this is what i mean there are moments where you're overthinking but my thinking was nvidia gave so much upside action overnight and into from the close over after the close into overnight i don't know what more they could do i think they will come back at some point to go back into the uh, 500 area but right now it's kind of over oversold and look at those sox it went from 933 to 1025 Wow, nice move. But we are still short. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. 
Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. So I wanted to talk about this just for a moment. You see this SOXS, this is the three times short, the uh, S&P, the, the semiconductors. It was once at uh, 40, no, 2,481.68. And uh, if you believe that, uh, then we've got a bridge to sell you. But then why does it say 4,500 over there? Oh, sorry, it was once at 4,620. I thought there was something wrong. I had it in the wrong bar. 4,620.6. Oh, round number high. But that... Years ago, when we were doing um, we were doing these webinars. I was doing one of my uh, three day courses, which is the reason why my voice today still gets scratchy very quickly. Uh, so first two days is level one, and then the third day was level two. And I remember I had a t uh, someone who was in in my class who had been at Goldman Sachs. I didn't know that at the time, but later in the day, I, we were talking about it. And you see, I was at Goldman Sachs, and me and my, my buddy, uh, we, we, we were shorting what the Goldman Sachs people said you should be buying. When the, when the head office found out that we were doing it, they didn't ask us how we did, because we did fabulously, way better, obviously, than the people who did the wrong thing. Um, and... So we left to start our own our own uh, business. And he said, one of the things my buddy did, I didn't have the courage to do it, he said, but my buddy shorted almost all the ETFs, whether they were long or short. And of course, in those days, there were not uh, hundreds. They were just whatever it was. And because there's this daily shrinkage, I mean, look at this. We are, we are still on the uh, UDOW from back in October. And, um, and look, look what happens. I mean, in this, unlike the diamonds, which has done really well, this is three times. This is, it's not recommended to do, but I've just, we've kept it because it was a position. So that's the UDOW. Uh, we got we got a lot we saw long from 44.05 back in October the 21st stops never been hit uh, taking a little bit off for really nice gains but at the same time um, and then we had a, a long from August which was a trading position and we've taken uh, most of, we took all of that off with nice gains and we were really short and long we went to this but look at this You've gone, gone in all this time, you've gone from 44 in the UDOW to 58. But the diamonds, we've gone from uh, 40, 44, sorry, the diamonds, we've gone from 210.9, it's called 211 back in 
April of 2020. That's April of 2020. And here we are, 344. So that whittling away of the three times long, it just, it, it, you know, so get back to the point that I was making. So you, these are trading vehicles. You've got to treat them. I, in this one instance, we've not treated it as a trading vehicle in that core position. And we know that it's not going to perform as well, but it's there. But look at this. Look at that. From 4,000, it never did hit that. This is just because it gets recalculated. 46.20, round number high, trading right now at 10, $10.31. I would say that's a little bit of a decline, right, percentage-wise. No, it didn't, that didn't really happen. Uh, well, maybe if you did hold it at that particular point, you'd see some kind of a decline like that. So remember, these are trading vehicles. So now let's get back to the story. And why did I feel very strong this morning? Because last night when we were doing the, the webinar, I said, you're going to have to watch this very closely because I wanted for four days. We did that for two days. We bought the UDO double as having the DOG, which is the short. We bought the three times long. But... It was just a quick trade. We lost 1.2% on a small position. And then we lost, I think, 0.8 or something. I mean, with a three times long to, to lose 0.8, that's crazy. I mean, usually you have a good percentage stop because you've got to give it some room. No, I had no room. And it did quite nicely over the last couple of days. But I still didn't feel that I wanted to go into it. I felt very suspicious of everything that's going on here. I feel a little bit about that way in gold. Uh, even though gold is now turned up because I need gold to prove itself. If it wasn't for silver, which makes me much more confident that gold is making a pretty decent low here, and you can see it in some of the stocks. Um, and I should mention Tom's doing a gold, uh, I think in, uh, this coming Wednesday, he's doing a gold uh, webinar for one of the first times in years. I don't, I don't even remember when he did the last one. That should be really interesting, perfect timing. So, um Yes, I do think so. And if you look at ASA is one that I always look at. Nice bounce off the top, but technically it's still just a bounce. It needs to do more. Not that it can't. I'm just saying I need proof right now. So um, that's in that sector. So I wanted to do a couple of other things. I wanted to show this chart, WK. It popped up in my screen list. WKME. This is not a buy or a sell or anything. It's to show you something in the chat. I told my subscribers... I will be doing these live. If they have a chance to listen to the show, uh, I'll do it live. In fact, what I might do is I'll, so I'll give it a particular time each day for five minutes or so, just to do chap and wave methodology. You see this chart here. Forget, it doesn't matter what it is. doesn't matter what the price is. You're just looking at the, the movement of the, the bars. See, at 7.82, that's the low. So I'm going to circle it right there. It got an up arrow only because it was such a powerful move. The stochastic was rallying. The uh, MACD rallied. The nine period actually did go plus for uh, positive for a moment. But it was such a big move. I put an up arrow in because it was a, a, a price, a rally based on momentum, but no follow through. All right. But my point here is that that's a peak A, a gray A. I didn't make these all gray. I didn't change the color. But that's a gray A. That little peak over there is an A. That peak over there is a B. That is lower, but it's still an A and a B. This is your starting point. This, because it's high, even though that bar is lower than everything else, it hasn't taken out 7.82. Therefore, this gets counted as C. This is an A and a B. That's an A and a B. This low one is an A, which plunges down to where? 7.82. That is still extant. That is still working. If it went to 7.81, kaput, that's finished. So that says that this 7.82 is still holding the base, the starting point from around about May the 15th. And here we are months later, and this daily chart shows you WKME, Walk Me, I never heard of this before, Limited, a digital adoption platform. I thought it was a dog service, but it's not. It's for using this technology on top of others and it, it, it kind of sorts things out and tells you what to do. Then it goes peak A, gray A, gray B, and that's your C right there at um, 9.92 on the 5th of July. Because it took it out by one penny, it starts not leg C, it picks up that C and this is D. 
Now, you might say, but wait a minute, it has all the characteristics of, of it. It even looks like a kind of a bee, the way it's so powerful. Absolutely. And the stochastics are 93% and the MACD. But that doesn't mean to say it can't go E, F, and G, or it could retrace or whatever thing, but that's the notation. It's right on the 200 period moving average. We do not have a position. I brought this up only because I had a really good look at this morning. I said, what a nice example of restarts. This is called the Chapman Wave Restart. And the more you can restart, the greater the upside potential. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call Newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call Newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. So here we are, a stochastic uh, oscillator. Uh, it's a popular technical indicator, blah, 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 popular thing. I think Lang was the guy who developed it. And then it says... Stochastic oscillators measure recent prices on a scale of 0 to 100 with measurements above 80 indicating that an asset is overbought and measurements below 20 indicating that it is oversold. And then it says understanding the oscillator and it repeats the same thing again. I say baloney, Wikipedia. Over 80% you should say is bullish. Under 20% is bearish. Make it as simple as possible. That is the real... I've used it for hundreds of thousands of charts for the last, ever since I read, was it Jake Bernstein's Day Trader book, way, way back. Uh, I don't think he used that, but that's kind of, that got me into it. So, okay, here's the, this is the uh, the E-mini, look at this arch formations taken out that, uh, now that's resistance. At any point in the day, if the um, E-mini can trade about 44, 
52, it's at 44.33 now, let's just say 44.46. Um, that'll, be, that'll be a good sign to say, okay, some of the selling is done, now we can have a little bit of buying, maybe even a little bit of buying into the close, we'll see. But <clears throat> if it takes out the 44, this left side low right here, uh, or oh, all the way down, forget that. If it just takes out this doji candle low of 44.23, that's the low of 10.30 uh, yesterday, um, that's going to be a problem. All right. So with that said, we're about to wrap up. You're about to go to Steve Rhodes. I just don't know yet. I, I think Larry's voice is still under the weather. I, I just have to check my schedule. If I'm able to, I'm just, uh, you know, if I'm able to, I'll try to do his hour. Uh, I know there's a lot that I would like to do in the commodities, etc. It would be a nice opportunity to review it. I'll do it live. Why not? I just don't know yet. But I'll let my engineer know if it's possible. But I do know that Larry's not well today. Uh, his voice is still scratching. So stay tuned. Great programming at TFN. And check out my people daily newsletter. It was awesome.